All right, so this is Warren from Around the Geek, and I'm here with uh, Robbie Damon. Hey, what's up, man? How's it going? Okay, it's doing pretty good. Good. How are you enjoying yourself so far? Uh, it's an awesome con, dude. Having a ton of fun. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, um, just to get, he, he's known, he's going to be reprising the role as Tuxedo Mask in the upcoming Sailor Moon dub. Uh, no, by Viz, I believe, correct? Yeah, Viz got the licensing for uh, Sailor Moon, so we are redubbing the original 200 episodes, right. including Stars and uh, the three movies. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. I so actually didn't know it was that extensive. I thought it was just... It's incredible. everything, man. All the all the episodes that didn't come to the States, uh, mm -hmm. and it's all uncut. Oh, no, uh, no changes for American audience like there were with the Saturday morning cartoons. So there's right. no gender changes, no plot line changes. You know. So we'll, so we'll get the full nudity. I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There might be a few panty shots in there. Nothing too serious. I, th I think we keep it pretty PG. Right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. So uh, to get started, uh, tell us a little bit about yourself. Oh, let's see. Uh, uh, I'm based out of LA. Uh, I'm a full-time voiceover actor. I've been there for about seven years, seven and a half years. Oh, really? uh, I've been working in um, traditional animation, uh, like Western cartoons. Right. Yeah, video games, uh, commercials, audio books, and Sailor Moon is the first anime series I've ever been cast in. Right. Yeah, yeah, pretty crazy, okay. huh? <laughs> uh, yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, pretty crazy, okay. huh? <laughs> uh, yeah. It's impressive because I actually looked at all the stuff you did do voiceovers for. Sure. Uh, what kind of led you into Sailor Moon? Was it just a? Well, I I want I grew up watching anime. So oh, okay. I love okay. I love anime. <laughs> you know, awesome. I I went through like you know phases where I watch a ton of Dragon Ball Z or oh, yeah. a ton oh, of Berserk yeah. or something like that. <laughs> right. Pick up a series, get really into it, sort of watch watch the heck out of it, and then you know go on and and so when I started doing voiceover full time about four years ago. I wanted to get into it. Okay. So, but it's okay. a tough thing to get into. It's yeah, a that's real right. small group of people who who do the dubbing. So, uh, so the question was, how do I get an audition? Right. And um, I just put it out there. I talked to a few people that I know, and um, the head of Studiopolis, uh, where it's recorded, actually uh -huh. sent me an email asking me to audition. Said, hey, I think this might be good for you. And I was like, oh man, this is Sailor Moon. Oh, yeah. So yeah. Let's, let's try not to mess this up. <laughs> Pretty big <experience. laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of fangirls. Yeah, no, tell me about it. No, man. And, uh, it, uh, it was fun. So I did, did the best I could in the audition and uh, booked the job. That's awesome. my fir first anime. And since then, I've gotten a chance to do some more. So it's awesome. Cool. Um, so, I know, like I said before, you've done a bit, a bit of voice acting already, so where did you get your start? What? Well, I come from a theater background, okay. so I came out to LA, and I knew I wanted to do voiceover, but I tried to do the commercial thing, right. and I, you know, I, I did some some television and some indie movies and some commercials, and okay. but what I found the most success was in voiceover. So, okay. um, so like about five years ago, I said, okay, I'm going to focus on this as hard as I can and uh, then I just started to pursue that and then about a year ago I made the decision that I wasn't going to do any more on camera stuff right because I didn't have the time right so I, I, my, my agents I missed uh, I missed like six auditions in eight days because I was working at a studio right. and then they were saying like hey can you do you want to do this anymore and I was like you know I don't think that I do so right. so now I, I do my very best to try to work every day so okay yeah yeah um well Kind of hit a couple questions already. I uh, also heard that you uh, done a little bit of voice work in uh, Final Fantasy Type Zero. Yes. How was how was that? <laughs> oh man, that game is gonna be crazy. That's what I keep hearing. I yeah, think. yeah, that's coming out. Uh, I think in March. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah, we I got to do some work up. That's a dream of mine because Final Fantasy X is maybe one of my all time favorite video all right, games. All right. <laughs> so, uh, so a, when they when that came across my desk to audition for, I I, I was super excited about it. And there's some great. Uh, VA is working on that game. I don't think I'm allowed to really. I can't out any of them. Right. <laughs> but there, are, there are a few that are already out there. I, I think Matt Mercer's here. I'm pretty sure he's doing something in it, and uh, a couple other buddies of mine. So uh, I, the, the cast is really good. The gameplay is really fast, and and I think if you pre-order it, you get the Final Fantasy 15. Yeah, that's what I see. Demo. demo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's gonna be crazy. So. Um. Could you tell us about the character you play at all? Or is yeah, yeah, I play. Uh, I play the uh, the teacher and leader of uh, Class Zero, um, oh, nice. Kurosame. 
So he's sort of this slightly older character uh, who who uh, is, is the teacher of all of them and also sort of their mission leader. And uh, I, I think he was known as like the icy blade of death on the battlefield. Okay. But uh, he gets injured, so that so then he becomes a teacher. And um, as far as I know, he's like a guest party character, something okay. something like that. I'm not sure if he's playable. I'm not sure. I haven't played the game. Right. I only get to see the pieces <laughs> that I get to see. But uh, no, he's, he's, he's a pretty cool character, man. He's got the ninja mask and the, all, all the you know, traditional I think I've seen the shadow. Oh, yeah, it's out there. It's out <laughs> all there. Right, all right. <laughs> So that'll be fun. So that's next month. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. It's already on my pre-order. Yes, <laughs> yes. I'll be playing. Um, so uh, another one. Uh, do you have any interesting stories of anything that has happened while recording? So anything, any. Type you know, of that's a tough question with the anime stuff because we're by ourselves. So right. so there's it doesn't get too weird. Uh, <laughs> but but uh, I guess it's you're only as weird as you are by yourself, which I guess could be pretty weird. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I guess when you get into the role, you like really start. To well, roll, you you gotta cut up a little bit because like mm -hmm. you start to go crazy if you don't. So you know, most people wouldn't think it, but sometimes some of those cartoon people are the, the dirtiest, funniest people <laughs> you want you want to meet. Um, but a lot of a lot of the goofy stuff kind of happens um, behind the scenes. Um, in sort of the shows that you're in there so with somebody right. right so like some of the western animation stuff i do um uh i do this show called breadwinners uh it's a saturday morning cartoon on nickelodeon it's right okay. between spongebob and sanjay and craig and i work with um nolan north oh uh, nice. yeah he's one of our reoccurring characters on the show and i don't know if you i'm sure a lot of your listeners know nolan is like you know nathan dre yeah pretty much every video game character ever and he's doing a lot more animation these days and um that guy is hands down one of the funniest dudes in the studio ever. He has zero filter. I mean, it is just it is just dirty joke after dirty joke, and I think that's a big reason why he gets hired so much is because you get an awesome voice actor, but you also kind of get a comedy routine too. Right. So anytime you're in the studio with Nolan, you're gonna have an awesome time. I'm gonna say it sounds like a fun recording session. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And my partner on that show is Eric Bowser, who is if you don't know um, voiceover that much, he is just this incredible, hilarious uh, uh, voice actor. And whenever those two guys are in the studio, man, I just, I sit back and enjoy the show. <laughs> I'm sure it's a good time. Mm -hmm. um, are there, well, that, that you can talk about, are there any upcoming projects you're working on that we should be on the lookout for? Oh man. Uh, <laughs> I know it, that's a hard question. It is, it is. I don't think anything I'm allowed to announce just yet. Um, um, I'm going to be, yes, I can tell you this, I'm going to be in two very, very large JRPGs as, oh. lead, as lead roles coming up, oh, and I can't tell you what they are, <laughs> so, um, so if, if you, if we could talk a little later down the road, okay, maybe I'll we'll be, be friends on Twitter or something like that, that. yeah, that. Twitter or Facebook <laughs> or something, and I'll keep you, uh, I'll keep you, uh, uh, up to date on what that is, and one of then those will be coming out this year. Uh, this year, I'm going to be doing a new anime. Um, I can't talk about that okay. either. Hold on, wait. Oh, I know, I know. I can't, I can't talk about one. I'm doing um, a lot of the cover characters for uh, Rock Lee and Friends. Oh, nice. it's a really goofy, nice. uh, fun comedy spinoff of uh, Naruto. Naruto. Mm -hmm. So, um, some of those actors aren't coming back to their roles. So I'm covering like um, a lot of the Akatsuki. Okay. I'm, I'm covering uh, uh, Daira and uh, and pretty much every bad guy in that show. <laughs> it's it's really fun, goofy show. And um, uh, yeah, that's I'm doing a bunch of stuff. I just can't talk about it. Okay. Well, yeah, yeah. I'm also get to, I also get to play a Marvel character that's coming up soon. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, so we're definitely gonna have to add you to the list. <laughs> good, good. Go look for you. <laughs> Thanks, man. Um. Okay, so just to wrap it up, um, what would you tell someone that is looking to get into the voice acting business? Well, I think um, you want to focus on the acting part. Uh, first thing, uh, somebody in the panel today had a really good comment. I'm gonna steal it. They said, you know, everybody has a voice. So the acting part of it is the is the part you gotta focus on. So whether you are in the smallest town, the middle of the Midwest, mm -hmm. or the biggest city on the coast. Uh, find the best acting teacher in your city and go learn from them. Take right. a theater class, uh, take an acting class, take a voiceover class, and um, learn as much as you can. And then when you're ready to put yourself out there, uh, pursue it as hard as you can with as much passion as you've got. And and don't put any um, don't put any parameters on it. Don't say I've got to be a success. I've got to make money out of it. I've got to do any of that. Do it because you love it, and right. and if you stick with it, the money part of it and the professional part of it will come or it won't. 
and right. and uh, and that's what I would say. Yeah, be an actor first, voice actor second. All right, thank you, uh, Robbie. It's very nice to have you on the show. Oh, dude, it's great to meet you guys. You guys are awesome. Definitely hope to run into you again and have another one. Heck so yeah, can, man! So we can talk about those new JRPGs. All right, all right, later, <laughs> later. All right, man. All right. Be good. Take care. Take care. Thanks.